Mpenzi mtazamaji kama ndio kwanza nafungua channel yako ya TF TV tafadhali subscribe ili wa mwanzo kupata video zetu mbali mbali za ndani na nje ya nchi. Share video hii bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwa ni muhimu sana. At the beginning of my address I underlined the need to guarantee the independence of internal auditors. In that regard, I call upon African governments to institute and legislate the independence of internal auditors to enable them to give honest advice. And in my opinion, African governments should have a provision in the Public Audit Act which safeguards or protects internal auditors from undue influence or interference. The legal framework could also introduce a dual reporting relationship, both functional and administrative for internal auditors in conformity with the international professional practice framework, which would be a remedy to possible intimidation and sanctioning by some CEOs. Otherwise, internal auditors should suggestively challenge the current practice and champion best practices while taking into account local circumstances and be a strong catalyst for improvement in the practices of your organizations. Second, I encourage African governments and heads of public and private enterprises to set aside reasonably adequate training budgets for purposes of nurturing young, talented internal auditors and giving them a chance to grow in their professional career to be able to meet emerging audit challenges and to find new horizons. And I wish to remind governments and corporations that the landscape of internal auditing is changing fast and requires an integrated team of internal auditors with a multiple set of skills, including engineers, IT specialists, quantity surveyors, security officers, insurance and risk managers, economists like myself, lawyers, and even medical practitioners in addition to accountants that we are used to. We also know for a fact that incentives matter, particularly for persons dealing with risky jobs, which include internal audit. As such, employers should as much as it can feasibly be done ensure competitive remuneration for internal auditors to bring them at least at par with the similar professions. The use of artificial intelligence is picking up in almost all aspects of life. Numerous transactions now take place online. As such, fraudsters have also found ways of committing crime online. And this implies that internal auditors need to equip themselves with more advanced technological skills to enable them detect, check, and control malpractices. More than ever before, internal auditors have to match with rapid technological advancement, revisit information and management systems, operating models and business strategies in order to catch up with growing cyber insecurity. Fourth, I would like to urge all internal auditors to feel duty bound to perform their duties using world-class standards and regulations. And in this regard, I encourage African governments and stakeholders to push for accreditation of internal auditors similar to the common practice in other professions. Fifth, the effects of the global climate crisis 
have induced severe pressure and disruptions to governments and enterprises alike, and the internal audit function has not escaped from the impacts of the climate crisis either, and particularly so in Africa. Therefore, I urge the internal audit gurus participating in this conference to rise up to this emerging challenge, including assisting governments and corporations to build resilience and in managing environment-related risks. The governance, risk management, and control issues have continued to improve across the globe with the Institute of Internal Auditors, IIA Global, taking a lead in establishing standards and regulating the profession. Uh, in Tanzania, the uh, public sector in Tanzania, the offices of Internal Auditors General in both Tanzania, Maryland, and Zanzibar, with more than 1,600 internal auditors, have taken recommendable jobs in ensuring that uh, internal audit professionals uphold their core values of objectivity and integrity for ensuring the government achieve its objectives and financial integrity. Tiff TV na kupatia video mbali mbali kutoka ndani na nje ya nchi. Tafadhali endelea kutufuatilia kupitia channel yetu ya Tiff TV, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter na Instagram. Bila kusahau kudondosha comment yako kwani ni muhimu sana. Tiff TV tupo kijamii zaidi.